Good evening, Suchika. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Hi, good evening, Suchika. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Uh, good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible and Great. voice is also audible. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And Sunana, is my voice is audible to you as well? Uh, yes, sir. Audible. Great. Great. We're going to start the session very soon, just in two minutes. Let's others to join the session as well. Just stay connected. Okay. okay? Thank you. Uh, Suchika, may I know, are you preparing for IELTS general or academic? So actually, I want to um, join journal for journals. For PR, right? Okay, great. Yes, yes, yes. Great. Just want to let you know, we have expertise uh, for general as well as academic because all of our trainer are IDP certified. So they know the requirement. I mean, how to get higher bands. Uh, okay, sir. Mostly journal students need A triple seven, A eight in listening yes, and seven. Yeah. So recently, yes. one of our student Ira, she got nine in uh, listening, eight point five in reading, seven point oh. five in uh, writing, and seven in speaking. I can show the yeah TRF as well. So uh, we have expertise in this domain. So Sunena, may I know about yourself? Are you preparing for academic or journal? So I'm preparing for academic. Okay, great. For the student visa, right? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to start the session. First of all, I would like to welcome you to the Vineyard English. We are the first center in India having PhD English experts in our team and all our trainers are IDP certified. So in normal centers, you might encounter the trainers, those who achieve six or seven bands, but we don't hire any trainer until he or she would be certified from IDP or BC plus having intensive experience in IELTS domain. We will provide you 40 plus hours of live training in a month. Every day, one and a half hour class will be there. Two module will be covered in detail during classes. And for two other modules, we will provide you an assignment. 60 plus updated recordings we will provide you. That means we're going to provide you two application, basically two mobile application. One is for your recorded sessions, whatever the class you're going to attend, that is going to be recorded in our system and that will reflect in your mobile application. So just in case if you miss any class, your concept would not be missed. You can review your entire class in your mobile as well after I mean the next day. So you can also review more than 80 videos, more than 80 classes over there from different trainers. So you can inculcate or enhance your knowledge on that pattern as well. Apart from this, we will provide you one separate account, practice account. We call it resource account that would have 160 plus practice test, reading, listening, writing. You can attempt entire material in your account. You will be given a username and password. This is apart from the classroom training. This is for your own practice. So entire material will be based on IELTS only. Our listening will be exact same that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. And the all entire material will be on IELTS pattern. Second dedicated mobile app we will provide you. If you don't have laptop still, you will be able to manage entire material resource account on your mobile as well. It's a mobile friendly. Every day you're going to get the assignment from the trainer for sure, whatever you will learn during the classes, you will implement in the assignments. Five full length mock tests we will provide you. One mock test, they, uh, it would take approximately two and a half to three hours to complete, just like the real IELTS exam. It will be the same uh, real IELTS exam. First listening will be there. Once you clear listening, you have to attempt then the reading, then the writing part. So every Saturday we do one mock test. This is the account, this type of account we're going to provide you. This we call the resource account. I will let me share you the live account. 
is this screen is visible to both of you yes sir okay great yes sir it's visible thank you suchika and sunena if you would have any question during the presentation you can ask me at any point of time right and i would request both of you to attend this session till the end it would take approximately 35 to 40 minutes so you'll get an uh, you know a better idea how our classes are going to be conducted so your name will reflect here and then you you going to get this account and it will be activated for 2 months minimum whether you going to join for 1 month or 2 month it's your wish but we going to provide you this account for minimum of 2 months so once you click on online test there will be two options ielts academic ielts journal training if you're a student of ielts journal training still you will be able to see and attempt the material of ielts academic and vice versa so let's suppose if you're a student of ielts academic you will see five mock tests over here every mock test will take approximately 3 hours and every uh, we we do one mock test at every saturday if you click on academic reading you will see five section over here every section further will have five readings in it you will see 40 questions 60 minute and the time bounded test test would be there as you going to face in the real ielts exam so there would be 25 readings here if you click on listening again five section if you click here you will see five listening in one section 40 question 45 minute so 5 into 5 25 listening over here academic writing there will be five another section every section further will have five section in it and every section further have two question writing task 1 and 2 that means you will have 50 writing task over here similarly in case of journal training you will have journal mock test over here so once you attempt all five mock tests it's going to be like that you're going to attempt five uh, real ielts exam so once you click on journal readings you will have 25 journal reading here everything will be there listening 25 listening and journal writing you will see the two task task 1 and 2 so 50 journal writing task over here apart from this you can enhance your uh, grammar by playing challenge zone there will be uh, grammatical uh, fundamentals you can enhance by play challenge with the those student who will be online over there so coming back to dashboard we will provide you this account dashboard in which you can see your own analysis on uh, for an example if you attempt the listening test here just give me a second you can do self analysis once you will attempt any listening it will turn yellow let me show you one any of the one which just attempted okay. mm -hmm. so you can do uh, there yeah it's a fresh account so there is no listening so once you attempt any listening reading writing you can see your brand score you can analysis your own listening reading writing over there you can see the answers and logic as well all right coming back to the presentation so is everything clear till this point till this resource account to both of you sunan and suchika yes sir yes sir okay. great apart from this account we will provide you this application once you go to our website that is www.winyourenglish.com you will see in download section you can download this application once you will download this application we will provide you a license key and that license key will be valid for 2 months minimum in this application you can review your own classes for an example if you going to attend the class today you can review this class by tomorrow so after a month even you can review the entire month plus you will be able to review your previous classes previous classes taken by other uh, experts as well so you can uh imbibe more skills from other experts as well by using this application online class structure is just like this after enrollment first mock test will be diagnostic mock test as doctor diagnoses or our patients we diagnose our students so our experts will check your diagnostic mock test and they will check your current level and then they will see what you want to achieve 
then they prepare your journey accordingly every class will start with tips and training 5 10 minutes then the content will be delivered and the class will be ended at an assignment we will allot you one focused whatsapp group why it's focused whatsapp group i say our all students are very sincere we do not entertain any non sincere student even we do not give uh, an admission to those who just join for the fun sake no so we specially get uh, disclosures signed by the male candidates that there wouldn't be any disturbance so maximum number of student would be there 8 to 10 and your trainer will be there in your group once you will get uh, the assignment like for an example if you get writing task 2 assignment it will be shared in your group you just need to write down the writing task to on your notepad and click a picture share it back in the group that's it your trainer will review it and mark you as per idp standard and provide you the feedback this is going to be the journey from first week till fourth week monday we do listening and speaking listening will be exact same that you going to face in the real health exam plus reading and listening will be given as an assignment tuesday writing task 2 will be discuss in detail in detail means examiner will let you know um the trainer will let you know how to write down an introduction body paragraph conclusion what are the essential parameters how to get more bands what are the four pillars of writings uh, that we going to discuss today when writing task 2 speaking will be discussed what what uh, speaking will be very formal speaking one to one speaking will be there group discussion will not be there Wednesday, we will do writing task one in detail and then speaking. Then these will be your assignments. Some of the task will be given from your resource account. Thursday, reading speaking will be in the class and reading writing will be from the resource account. Friday, listening speaking, reading speak, reading listening will be from the resource account. Saturday, mock test will be there. Four module will be covered. I mean, this mock test will be from your resource account that you're going to attempt, and if you would have any inquiry, uh, your trainer will be there to answer. Sunday, we share blogs, study material, videos, tips, and other uh, uh, material so that you can we can add value to your learning. Now, we're going to discuss the writing task two parameters: how to get more bands, what are the essential. Parameters and fundamentals. Is everything clear till this point, Suchi Kan Sunaina? Yes, sir. Okay. Everything clear. Thank you. So, in writing task two, there are four basic parameters or pillars which are essential in order to get bands, or which are essential in calculating the bands. Task achievement and response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy. these four having zero till nine bands for an example if you get seven band here in task achievement and response eight bands in coherence and cohesion then nine band in lexical resource and seven band in grammatical range and accuracy then the average of these these four will be your band score in writing task 2 now what is task achievement and response task achievement and response implies how you going to respond the writing task to and whether you going to cover all the essential parameters of writing task to or not for an example introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement if you miss any of these part you will not get the 100% bands of task achievement and response then coherence and cohesion coherence and cohesion implies perfect linkage between lines as well as paragraphs an ideal writing task to should be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion lexical resource means the type of vocabulary you going to use it has been seen that many student just use high vocabulary word even they are not uh, even then they are not sure of the meaning of that word which eventually um, um suffer their band score lessen their band score they end up with 5 or 5.5 band because because that vocabulary word somehow alter the meaning of entire passage or the line 
so we will not use any type of vocabulary which will not show off grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentences you're going to use whether you're going to use simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence complex compound sentence or whether you're going to use passive voice and accuracy is very important accuracy of your vocabulary your sentence structure is very important so these are the four things which we which our trainer i mean uh, teach all our students in the deeper level so you will be able to understand the deeper things these are the general five type of essays opinionating essays will be their advantage disadvantages essays will be their discussion essays will be there sometime examiner may ask you to discuss both points and give your own opinion in that case you need to write down three paragraphs you need to discuss one discussion in one second in second in third paragraph you need to write down your own opinion solution essays will be there direct question essays will be there where sometime there would be two question in one question direct questions will be there so we teach all our students on all type of essays during our classes and how every type of essay is having its own treatment so we teach all type of treatments this is the higher band essay structure the nine band essay structure if you follow this structure the simplest structure you will definitely get more than seven bands it has been seen that i mean student just you know write randomly then they end up with five or six bands sometime 5.5 band if they use simple structure where the four things will prevail definitely seven plus bands will be there as i said introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase a topic plus thesis statement now what is background information background information is basically when you talk something about the topic in the past for an example in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but due to the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing now why i use masses it's a synonym of people so we cannot use people people again we cannot repeat the word so we need to use synonyms then in some topics we cannot uh, quickly make the background information in that scenario we can write down the journal comment journal comment is just like nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization that's it plus paraphrase the topic paraphrase is basically an art which you need to learn with the, i mean it it comes with the time you need to convert the question in your own words in your own words you cannot write down the exact question in the introduction some people believe that other opine that so you need to convert it into your own word and it should be precise plus thesis statement thesis statement basically is a great indicator to the reader or the examiner that what we going to write down in further body paragraph i am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraphs just like this this is a thesis statement so this indicates that what the writer is going to write in upcoming body paragraph secondly the importance of thesis statement is it links the introduction with the body paragraph so if your writing task 2 would have three three these parts you will get the task achievement and response uh, bands over there for sure now in body paragraph it has been seen that many students just use 10 15 Eleven points in just two, three paragraphs. They end up with five, five point five bands. Then they complain the IDP system or the BC system, evaluation system that they have faulty system. No, they have perfect evaluation system. But we need to understand their demand. What is, uh, what the demand? What they are asking about? We don't need five, six, seven points. One point. elaborate it well support it with the example that's it your one paragraph is ready we don't need 5 6 7 points in one paragraph one paragraph should consist only one point it should be elaborated or explained well supported with example that's it now in conclusion first line of conclusion is also a great indicator to the reader or the examiner that he or she is going to sum up the entire argument or the passage in some words so in conclusion basically we need to write down the gist of the essay crux of the essay 
we can also rephrase our own opinion we can add suggestion threat danger and hope as well in the conclusion but make sure do not add any new point in the conclusion entire writing task 2 should not be less than 250 words if it would be of 249 words still you will be penalized it should not go after or go beyond 300 words otherwise there would be grammatical errors would be there so ideal range should be 260 to 280 words now i want you to participate with me in an activity during our classes we do brainstorming activity why i want you to do this because in this way you will get to know how our classes are being conducted so in our classes every in every class there would be brainstorm session it has been seen that student face so many trouble in the real ielts exam once they face the real ielts exam they feel blank they feel run out of ideas so to uh, take over this uh, limitation or weakness we have integrated some activities in our classroom training in our online sessions so that if you do brainstorming on regular basis during the classes in real ielts exam there will be plenty of number of points come coming to you mind to your mind so you want run of ideas over there so we will do this activity now in some countries this is the question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development see this type of question can be handled in three ways you can write down positive positive about the develop uh, about the question you can write down negative negative about this topic or you can balance the statement you can say it has more positive consequences than a few negative ones now i want you to unmute yourself both of you tell me the advantages of living alone imagine yourself if you are a student or uh, immigrant you are migrating to canada and you are living alone over there what would be the advantages of living alone over there sunana and suchika basically it would be so privacy yes full privacy, privacy will be there full privacy will be there mm -hmm. freedom will be there yeah freedom yes. freedom will be there and expenses less expenses okay that means you you don't have to bear family's expenses right you don't yes yes have to bear all the expenses of the entire family so if you living alone you are just paying your own bills right yeah next point yeah. imagine yourself if you are a student and living in canada we can uh, we can concentrate on our activities properly like no disturbance wonderful we are get less of interference and yes stuff. less interference so, less more, interference yeah, no interference so one can inculcate new hobby such as singing dancing right or can use leisure time or more in a productive way so so instead one, of huh. one will learn new skills such as cooking no yeah, cooking right. because i mean male members are migrating or students are migrating so they have to they have to uh, you know learn cook cooking. by themselves so yeah they have to cook <laughs> themselves so one will learn how to manage finance their personal finance yes 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 and how to clean the house like to paying utility bills buying grocery lots of skills one will learn if you more conscious would... towards their living style and stuff because of how how come so um, um, being in a joint family or being with family mm -hmm. uh, kids or um, they spend lavishly or okay so you mean uh, i so, mean one will uh, huh. one will spend wisely wisely yes yeah. more precise and using their yeah very good point right 
more exposure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, more exposure. Any other point? And so thinking, uh, thinking ability also develops. All right. So as one, you have to, uh, hmm. one will learn. Uh, one will uh, manage emergency conditions alone. So yes. no one will be there to help, you know, one person, mm -hmm. a single person. So more confident. Yeah, more confident. More confident. One will handle emergency things alone. So basically, the cognitive development would be yeah, there. Yeah, cognitive. Also. Yeah, that yes. will be there, yes. Yeah, because one is living alone, he or she is taking his or own independent decision. So exactly. Yeah, native development. Great. So uh, now tell me what are the disadvantages of living alone? If one is living alone, what is the biggest one? Imagine. Family love, care. Homesickness, yes. Homesickness. This is the greatest, uh, biggest one I can say. The biggest one, yes. yeah. So once he or she will feel homesickness, uh, then I mean, he or may she fall into the depression. Homesickness or loneliness. Yes. Depression or some student may fall into bad prey in bad company they fall. Fall into yes. bad companies or drugs. Nobody will be there to stop. Stop them or guide them. Yeah. All right. Another point. Mm. So lack of family support. Lack of family support. And basically, sir, in the starting or beginning uh, era or beginning uh, early stages, mm -hmm. the lack of finance and stuff because one doesn't know where to spend and how much to spend if no one is there. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is if, if you have been alone there, so you don't know ke how much mm -hmm. to spend in a particular field and how much to not. So, which so is no, good one, for you. no one will be there to guide, right? Guide you. Yeah. No one will be there to guide. Hmm. Right. And uh, disadvantage of living alone, we can say, yeah, financial factor also there. Financial one will factor. one will have to bear all the expenses alone, right? So in family settings, often uh, two three working members would be there and they share the expenses. So if one is living alone, he has to bear all the expenses, you know, alone, living expenses and other expenses. Yes. Yep. Any other point? Mm. I think. <laughs> All right. Right now I'm. All right. All right. Great. Good. Good points. Uh, great point, uh, Sunaina. I now, think mm -hmm. the, my Yannicke, my mm -hmm. batchmate or she left. I think. Yeah, I just uh, noticed due to, I mean, sometime she might have some work. Yeah, maybe. Okay. It happens. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. We'll carry on. Mm. So now I'll, we will discuss the nine band uh, solution using this yes. structure. Right. So okay. why I'm saying this is the higher band structure. If you follow this structure, definitely you'll get wonderful bands. So using this, this structure, we will discuss this question. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live, choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? These days, many people choose to live alone, especially in metropolitan areas. And this rate is far higher in developed countries and seems like this has become quite normal there. So basically in this sentence, in some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone. These days, many people choose to live alone. So basically in this uh, whole line, 
we joined the paraphrase plus journal comment together and we can do that. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? We need to answer it in the introduction as well. I believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers. So we stated our view that what we are thinking as examiner is asking us. So we have to clarify this point in the introduction as well that what we are thinking and what we're going to write down in further body paragraphs. Body paragraph. Yeah, let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. So this is basically the um, thesis line which ultimately reflect or indicate the reader that he or she is going to write down something about this topic in upcoming lines. Now in body paragraph one, what we have to do one point elaboration an example one point elaborate it while cite an example that's it if you use these three things in one body paragraph will be fine now okay. the one point is the single person family those who live alone we just uh, synonymed it as a single person family is seen okay. to be positive ki positive kaise hai kis se hai? from better personal skill development and economical devel development economical perspective दो चीजों से ये बेहतर है फ्रॉम पर्सनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिकल परस्पेक्टिव सिंगल फैमिली मेंबर नाउ वी यू सिंगल फैमिली मेंबर वहां पे सिंगल पर्सन पर्सन फैमिली एंड हियर सिंगल मेंबर फैमिली सो वी विल नॉट यूज द सेम वर्ड वी विल चेंज द वर्ड जंबल द वर्ड्स ए सिंगल मेंबर फैमिली फोर्सेस अ पर्सन टू लर्न सम बेसिक स्किल्स इंक्लूडिंग कुकिंग क्लीनिंग द हाउस पेइंग द यूटिलिटी बिल्स मैनेजिंग पर्सनल फाइनेंस purchasing daily commodities adopting hobbies and many more personal skills to basically humne us cheez ko answer kar diya what why it is better from which view personal skill development why it's better kyun hai kaise hai that we describe from this point ki single person family force karti hai to a person to learn these skills this makes someone self dependent which has greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense self if one will be self dependent he or she has to pay taxes which ultimately helpful for the economy for instance for example research shows that student who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees learn more skills and become more self dependent than pupil who study from home pupil is the synonym of students so jo ghar se bahar rehte hain they learn more skills than those who study at home because they have to manage so many things additionally a single person family member is bound to do a job business or have some sort of arrangement for a steady earning and this trend has a greater positive impact on the country's economy so if one will be self sufficient self earning he or she will pay taxes ultimately he or she will be beneficial for the economy so from here till here we cover these two points why uh, from the better personal skill development and economical perspective single person family is better right so this is the way we need to write down one point we need to elaborate it well we need to cite an example which supports the main idea now some student uh, think that or there might be question arise how to write down an example do we need to read so much stuff in order to write example it should be fictitious or real well it can be fictitious you can make example you can build example but it should be supporting to your main idea jo example honi chahiye wo main idea ko support karni ho karti ho it's not like that ki aapko real example agar wo honi hi chahiye duniya mein you can make the example right now in body paragraph 2 again what we need to do we need to write down one point we need to elaborate it well cite an example that's it so as in introduction we balance the statement we write down we we, we just write it down um, it has more positive consequences than a few negative ones so we will cover positive ones in first paragraph and the negative ones in second paragraph from the opposite view point the trend of increasing single person family has a few negative consequences as well 
एक तो होता है फ्यू मीन्स थोड़े और फ्यू मीन्स थोड़े से भी थोड़े सो दिस ट्रेंड हैज अ फ्यू नेगेटिव एज द इंक्रीजिंग कैसे है क्यों है दैट वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ द इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑफ लिविंग एलोन हैज डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days those who live alone they suffer more from the psychological problems living alone creates loneliness and depression unlike the traditional family settings where there are always others to share someone's distress and sadness the isolation isolation is the synonym of loneliness the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative for example so in the previous body paragraph 1 we use for instance here we use for example a the meaning is same the recently study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many more of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes so again what we did we just write it down one point that is in green then we elaborated that point from this point till this point we cite an example that's it your paragraph is ready you don't need 5 6 7 points in conclusion what we need to do we need to write down the gist of the essay we can rephrase our opinion we can add threat danger hope or suggestion as well to encapsulate to sum up to encapsulate at then these kinds of words would be used in the conclusion the number of single person family is increasing in this contemporary era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various omnifarious or various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so again we reinforce our opinion which we cited in the introduction jo introduction mein humne bola tha usi cheez ko humne change karke कंक्लूजन में हमने कंक्लूड कर दिया हेंस वन कैन इम्बाइब इम्बाइब होता है टू गेट टू एम्ब्रेस मल्टीफेरियस मल्टीफेरियस इज अगेन द सिनेम ऑफ ऑमनीफेरियस और वेरियस सो वन कैन गेट वेरियस इंपॉर्टेंट लाइफ स्किल्स ऑफ लाइफ इफ ही और शी चूज टू लिव अलॉन्ग सो नाउ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द राइटिंग टास्क टू इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन आई कैन आंसर यू सुना Saurabh Soni Uh no sir perfectly fine So what we do generally jaise humne brainstorming kiya so during our classes these kind of activities you will find in our classrooms pehle brainstorm hoga aapse hi points bulwaye jayenge aapse hi points likhwaye jayenge then uh, our trainer will come to you with the solution the nine band solution and after once you will finish the writing task too there will be speaking practice sessions in speaking sessions our trainer will give you one or two minutes to prepare for the topic then you will deliver your uh, speech and after that you will getting you you going to get the feedback from the trainer i mean where you lag behind how you can improve your speaking so we will do one speaking activity as well just give me a second Saurabh, uh, are you you just joined, right? Kindly unmute yourself, Mr. Saurabh. Hello, yeah, Hindi, I'm there. Yes, sir. Uh, you you just joined, uh, right? I think you missed the presentation, right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Did you did you see this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I saw this. Okay, great. so we will do one speaking activity i will let you know how to attempt it generally speaking task it it would lead it would uh, yeah from 11 minute till 14 minute there would be hmm. three sections section first in section first the examiner will ask you some journal questions describe something about your previous studies about your city your uh, education and your likings or hobbies like that in section second cue card section you will be given this type of cue card where examiner will ask you to prepare for 1 minute and speak for minimum 2 minutes 
so you have to prepare and prepare for one minute i mean you have to prepare for this topic in one minute only in this cue card you need to quickly introduce the topic you need to cover these bullet points then you need to conclude it within one and a half minute and after that you need to continue talking on this topic by using uh, some connectors like additionally furthermore moreover just like that and examiner may stop you at any point of time so we teach all our students how to prepare in one minute we help them to make spider diagrams we teach them the techniques how to prepare in one minute and how to attempt these type of questions so speaking will be there on every day and what is the technique behind basically we work on the imagination pattern we enhance the imagination pattern of students so that points come to your come to their mind and they will not lack of points what is the power of imagination basically for an example if uh, examiner will ask me to describe your city and if i live in a small town i can describe toronto i can describe michigan i can describe melbourne and just name my town right for an example if i live at ludhiana i would say i live at ludhiana it's a cosmopolitan it is uh, situated in the mid of hills we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening we have uh, multifarious shopping plazas in our uh, city we have world's renowned university in ludhiana and uh, it has uh, world's oldest church we have a beautiful waterfall on the northern northern side where people around the globe visit our city and it has a perfect in infrastructure just like this whether ludhiana is situated in mid of hills or not examiner is not going to check the authenticity of the fact he or she is going to check whether you going to target the question he or she is going to check your fluency sentence structure whether you going to answer relevantly and uh, how you going to make the conversation interactive and interesting so the more you will use the power of imagination in speaking exam the more bands you will get right so now i would like both of you to prepare for one topic let me give you yeah this is the perfect topic i will give you the wonderful feedback that will be helpful for you as well describe a time when you receive some positive feedback could be from your friend family teacher professor or at your workplace from your manager or subordinate when it was that means time is being asked last year last month yesterday last week whatever what the feedback feedback was related to related to your study work or other personal work who gave you the feedback your tutor gave family member gave or your professor gave or your manager and explain how you felt about so i will give you one minute both of you just prepare for this topic and you need to speak up for at least 2 minutes first you need to introduce the topic in one or two lines quickly cover these bullet points conclude this topic and then after uh, i will give you the feedback thorough feedback i'll give you one minute to prepare for this time starts now All right, uh, Sunena, can you start? <clears throat> yes. Good evening, sir. Very good evening. Basically, I'm from a sports background, so I have been mm -hmm. to many uh, camps and all, many matches and different stuff. 
and I'm from a cricket background. So this particular comment which I received or compliment which I received was on 23rd of Feb. I exactly remember the date before this pandemic. I exactly uh, remember the date. Uh, so it was regarding my fitness level. And uh, in that, he complimented me that you are a very fit uh, girl I have ever met. And being uh, a bit anxious, sorry. So sorry. Mm, that's fine, that's fine. Who gave you the uh, feedback? Yes, I'm getting to that. And uh, this feedback was given by a man, BCCI member. And uh, he was a fitness trainer, R. Sridhar. He's a uh, fielding coach or a fitness trainer of the Indian cricket team, men's. So it was given by him. Right. And right. Yes. And then how yes, exactly, you felt about exactly, it? Exactly. Yes. Uh, felt great because coming these kinds of words from a very big personality or a renowned personality is a very big accomplishment or one can say okay, huh, a very great compliment and can which I can cherish for long. And I'll uh, keep up to that. Ke haan, I'll keep getting on the, uh, those compliments from everyone around me. And uh, that will keep me up right. in the future also. All right. Great, yeah. Sunana. Yeah, good try. Good try. You basically covered the bullet points, but uh, we have to make a flow, right? Yes. Slowly, slowly, it will it will take some time. No, no issue. You have content with you, not an issue. And uh, you have the power to elaborate it as well. But it takes some time because it's a lack of practice, I can say. Yeah. With the practice, it will be fine. So you okay. can cover it, it like that. In, in I got so many positive feedbacks in the past. But recently, I would like to talk about a feedback, which I got one of the renowned coach of India then you can name it mm -hmm. and it was uh, you can say last month or this date I got this feedback from this person and uh, it was a wonderful moment when I received this feedback and it was about my fitness he uh, gave me so many tips as well to enhance my fitness further but he uh, gave me a wonderful feedback that he saw many players but he didn't find such type of fitness which prevails in me and this boosted my morale so the, uh, at an extent even I pushed myself harder to achieve the next goal, right? Mm, yes, sir. Aise. So we yes. need to make stories. Usme hum thoda sa add bhi kar sakte, fictitious, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So to make the conversation more interesting. Okay. So otherwise, wonderful. Thank you so much. Your thank sentence you. structure was good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We will definitely refine your speaking during classes. Yes. All right, Mr. Uh, Sony. Thank you. Thank you. Sonia. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I've never been a good cook. In fact, uh, uh, cooking is something which I really hated ever since my childhood. Uh, but I guess lockdown gave me this opportunity to explore uh, cooking as a hobby. Uh, I started cooking initially for myself and then for my family. And I realized that uh, over a period of time, maybe last two months or so, I picked up very fast and I started preparing different cuisines for my family member, my parents, my, my wife. Um, and, uh, you know, they started liking it. A recent compliment which I got from my parents was that uh, a sticky rice, you know, which is essentially a South Asian way of preparing rice, along with uh, lentils, the Indian lentils. That's something, uh, you know, which my parents really cherished. Uh, they liked it. And uh, they gave me a nice compliment, which I haven't received uh, ever in my life as far as my uh, culinary skills or cooking skills are concerned. So that's a good compliment, uh, which I thought I must talk about. Great, sir. Wonderful. You covered all the essential factors and how you felt about it. I think you missed this factor. Yeah, it always feels uh, great to receive compliments. Mm, great. Uh, so I felt the same. Great, sir. Wonderful. You covered uh, the entire uh, you know all the bullet points perfectly well and sentence structure was perfect as well very good uh, yeah storyline as well plus it's your personal experience first i would like to congratulate you you inculcated new skills during lockdown and uh, it's yeah great 
wonderful sir so are you preparing for general or general right sir uh, i i hope you are preparing for general for the pl no right? i will be very honest you know i have in fact uh, my in my family i have my wife and my daughter my parents mm -hmm. my daughter is intent to be very honest and mm -hmm. i want uh, you know in fact she is keen to uh, you know go for learn ielts early on okay. uh, she wants to go abroad very clearly right uh, you know our relatives our family members stay outside mm -hmm. Right. And uh, this is I'm I'm search I'm looking for the right the options for her to be very honest. Great, great. At this great. point in time, and I want right. uh, to ensure next two years, you know, maybe she can mm -hmm. prepare. I I don't want her to give exams right now. Maybe mm -hmm. next one year or two years. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but she can I start learning, be, right? I want her to prepare early on. This mm -hmm. is what she wants to do. In fact, not me. Great. She wants to learn IELTS early on, and then maybe give exams a little later, mm -hmm. and become you know get a perfect score over there basically. Awesome, sir. That's that's wonderful, sir. Just want to let you know some of our uh, unique uh, propositions. We are the first center in India because you missed this. Uh, I think these slides, right? I would like you. I would like to tell you. Yeah, yeah sure. Something about yeah, us. I missed that. Yes. Yeah. Um, just want to ask Sunana. Do you have any doubt? Because uh, I will. No, I will repeat no, uh, some slides uh, to sir. No, so, sir, no, sir, no. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, yes. So we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team and are all experts are ITP certified. If you explore any center, any company there, you won't find any PhD English literature, but you're a trainer over there. Um, we have all the trainer ITP certified no, in normal you know, IELTS Institute or companies, they just hire a six or seven band uh, trainer, those who achieve this much. But we only hire those trainers who achieve IDP certification plus having intensive experience in IELTS. We will provide 40 hours of live training. Every day there will be one and a half hour Zoom classes. Two module will be covered in, in detail. In all the fundamentals will be discussed. For other two modules, we will provide assignment. Assignment in the resource account. We're going to provide you a resource account in which student will have 160 practice test, reading, listening, writing. So apart from classroom training, he or she can attempt reading, listening, writing at his or her own timings. Uh, we will provide username and password in our software. 60 plus updated recording means we will provide you a one mobile application in which student can review his or her own sessions. For an example, if you're attending this class today, it's going to record in our system and that is going to be reviewed by the students tomorrow. So after a month, if she wants to review the entire month, she can do that. Plus she will be able to see 80 plus classes of from different trainers in her mobile application that we're going to provide. We will provide you second dedicated mobile app of the resource account. So if a student won't have laptop, he or she will still able to operate entire material 160 practice tests in her or his mobile. Every day students going to get the assignment for sure, whatever he or she will learn in the class he or she will implement in the assignment. Five full mock tests we're going to provide during one month in which, I mean, every mock test would take approximately three hours to attempt. Reading, listening, writings will be there exactly same that you going to face in the real IELTS exam. And every Saturday we do one mock test. So this is the kind of account we're going to provide you. Let me share you the live screen. Right. Is it visible to you, Saurabh and Sunana? This screen it says Rexoni. Yes. yes. So the name of the student will be here. We're going to provide this account uh, for minimum of two months. Upon request, we can provide it for more than two months as well. So once you will click on online test, this is our company's logo, Vineyard English. Once you click on online test, you will see five mock tests will be there. Whether you are a student of academic or journal, you will see both section over there and you will have access of both the section. Academic student can attempt journal training exam or material as well and vice versa. If you click on academic reading, 
you will see five section every section further will have five test reading test 40 questions 60 minutes every test will be bound uh, time bounded test as the real test is going to be so you're going to have five into five 25 readings here if you click on listening once you click on listening five further sections will be there 40 question 45 minutes same listening will be there that the student is going to face in the real IELTS exam so five into five 25 listenings would be there writings five section every section further will have five writing sections two questions 60 minutes that means writing task one and two so you would have 50 writing task over here 25 1 25 writing task 2 similarly in case of journal the uh, you will have journal material readings listening writing so student can do that apart from this you can enhance your grammatical skills in this challenge zone once you click challenge zone if your grammar or your grammatical skills are weak you can do challenge on these skills tense adjective adverbs you can play challenge with other students or with the uh, software as well so you can also see on this dashboard you can see your own analysis how many you would this is a fresh account that's why it's not showing once you will attempt reading writing listening over there your data will be enumerated over here your attendance will be there so it's a fully functions a function dashboard coming back to the presentation is this clear sir to you and uh, to yes. Sunana as well yes sir. okay Sunana is it clear to you as well yes sir okay great just uh, coming back to the presentation all right so this is the LMS account or the resource account we call we will provide it free of cost in the package second application we're going to provide you this it would be on our website let me show you that as well so if you go to our website that is vineyardenglish.com you will see there will be a download section this is our company's website if you go to download yes it's a mobile application you can this is an android mobile application you can download it on your android phone if you don't have android phone you have apple phone you can open it in your laptop or pc you have to download little another software in your laptop as well so once you will download it we will provide a license key and this is also very useful it's not going to be stop I mean, after two months, it's going to be lifetime until the student going to clear the IELTS exam. He or she will get the notification and the updated material as well. So you will see all the instructions will be mentioned over here. In this mobile app, you will be able to see if you're a student of journal, you will be able to see journal videos. If you're a student of academic, you will be see academic videos, your own videos and previous videos and the video from other trainers as well. So it's going to be wonderful application for the student. Okay. Now coming back to the, you can also calculate bands in our website. If you click on the service, student can explore the band can calculator. It's a new feature we integrate. You just fill your data here. You will come to know the band score. So we keep on updating ourselves day by day so that we can add value to our student. So second application we will provide you that's going to be on uh, in your uh, app store in iOS and Android as well. We will provide two applications. So sir, as you said, your daughter is going to prepare for IELTS for the longer term, right? So these things will be very beneficial for her one this account we will allow her to use this account for longer period second we will allow her to use this mobile application learn this mobile application for the longer period and apart from this every saturday we do have diagnostic mock test our experts will check the level of the student every class will start with tips and trainings then the content will be delivered it would be ended at an assignment one more thing I would like to tell you that we will assign 
a student with the whatsapp group our whatsapp group are so focused we don't entertain any non sincere student we fill special disclosure from the male students that there wouldn't be any disturbance in the group uh, and otherwise legal action would be taken so all the students there would be smaller group groups from 6 to 8 or 8 to 10 students would be there and the trainer will be there as well all the assignments feedbacks and the material will be shared in the whatsapp group time to time and once the assignment will be done by the student it will be reviewed by our uh, experts and marked as by idp and bc standards and provide the feedback in the same whatsapp group this is the journey from first week till fourth week student can extend his course until uh, he or she wants for 2 3 4 5 months even but we uh, follow this structure and continuously we change the structure for the betterment of the students on monday we do listening and speaking in detail reading and listening will be given as an assignment tuesday writing task 2 will be discussed in detail and speaking will be there so we integrate speaking in every class during the weeks uh, as per our research students are facing more trouble in speaking and writing these days so we putting some special extra efforts on these two modules in writing Uh, on wednesday we do writing task 1 and speaking will be there other module will be given as an assignment from the resource account thursday reading speaking friday listening speaking and these in red will be given as an assignment saturday mock test will be there so that we can check the level of the student every week on sunday we share blog study material videos tips and other valued material to add value learning for the students so this is the writing task 2 which i just uh, discussed any doubt uh, soni sir or sunena no sir okay no. thank you uh mr soni do you have any doubt saurab sir are you there yes there's no doubt thank you okay great so sir uh, let me know uh, sunena and uh, mr soni if you would like to join new batches are uh, going to start in a day sure, or two sure so what is the sort of fee structure like this for this have you also uh, shared sir I'll, i'll get back to you on the mobile for sure okay no problem and just text me where, where you got the message just text me back on the mobile i'll get back to you sunena if you would like to join just text me your email both of you on the mobile where you got the link okay Okay so okay, thank perfect. you thank you so thank much you. for your time thank you so much have a great evening take care bye okay, thank you so much